Welcome, and thank you for selecting the Pintair IntelliCenter line of products. In this video, we will demonstrate how to perform the initial setup of your IntelliCenter using the built-in Setup Wizard feature. Let's begin. From the home screen, tap the Settings button. Use the down arrow and tap Advanced System Configuration. Press the down arrow to find and select Wizard. You will be greeted by a welcome screen. Tap the Next button to continue. If you have a configuration file saved from a previous install, insert the USB flash drive that contains the file and tap the Import Configuration slider to Yes. Otherwise, leave the slider on No and press Next. Ensure all of the installed hardware is detected and tap Next. Tap Zip Code at the top and use the Backspace button to remove the existing zip code. Enter your zip code and tap the check mark to save. Wait for the cities to load, select the desired city from the list and tap next. If the information displayed is correct, tap next to continue. If the system is connected to the internet, change the date and time slider to no and tap next. Or Leave the slider on Yes and tap Next to manually change the time and date. Tap the Clock Mode slider to change between a 12 or 24 hour format and if you want Daylight Savings Time to occur automatically, tap the slider to On. Tap Next to continue. Tap Time Set from the list to adjust the time. Use the up and down arrows to set the hours and minutes and tap the check mark to save. Select Date Set from the list to adjust the date. Use the up and down arrows to set the month, date, and year and then tap the check mark to save. Tap Next to continue. To configure auxiliary circuits, tap the slider toggle to Yes and then tap Next to continue. Select the circuit you wish to configure. Tap the circuit name box to change the name of the circuit. Here you can use the keyboard icon to input a custom name or use the up and down arrows to navigate the menu and select a desired name. Then select the check mark to save. Tap the circuit function box to change the circuit function by using the up and down arrows to select the desired function. In this example, we will set the circuit name to Cleaner, so let's select the Master Cleaner circuit type from the list and tap Next to continue. Toggle Visible in Features to Yes if you wish to control the circuit from the app or main screen. Once you have confirmed that all the information is correct, tap Next to continue. Complete this process for all needed auxiliaries and then tap Next to continue. To add feature circuits, toggle the slider to Yes and follow the same steps as adding auxiliary circuits. Tap Next to continue. To configure a group circuit, toggle the slider to Yes and tap Next. Then tap Next again to create a group circuit. Let's choose Circuit Group here and tap Next to continue. Tap the circuit name box to change the name of the group. Use the backspace button to remove the default name and the keypad to enter the desired name. Tap the check button to save and continue. Tap the number next to configure circuits and select the circuit you wish to control with this group. Toggle Include Circuit to Yes, then select what you want the circuit to do when the group is toggled on. Then tap Next to continue. Complete this procedure for all desired circuits and tap Next to continue. Select the Egg Timer box if you wish to adjust the timer duration for the group when it is manually turned on or tap Next to continue. When you are finished creating all the desired groups, tap Next to continue. If you would like to configure valves, toggle the slider to Yes and press Next to continue. 
Tap the valve you want to configure, then tap the Unassign button to assign the valve to a circuit. Select the desired circuit to assign the valve and tap the Check to save. Repeat for any other valves needed and tap Next to continue. To configure one or more pumps, toggle the Configure Pump slider to Yes and tap Next to continue. With the Create button selected, tap Next to continue. Select the pump type and again tap Next to continue. Tap Settings to change the default pump settings if needed, otherwise tap Speed Flow Circuits. Tap New Speed Flow Circuit and select the circuit you wish to assign a speed or flow. Tap the Type toggle to switch between RPM and GPM, then use the plus and minus buttons to change the RPM or GPM to your desired value. Tap Next to continue. Repeat this process for any other speeds or flows if needed, or tap Next to continue. Tap Next again. Tap the toggle to Yes to add more pumps, otherwise tap Next to complete pump configuration. Tap the Configure Heaters toggle to Yes and press Next to continue. With the Create button selected, tap Next. Select the type of heater that is installed and tap Next again. If more than one body of water is present, tap Affiliated Body to configure them or tap Next here to continue. Here, the cooldown delay and heater address can be changed if needed or tap Next to continue. Slide the toggle to Yes if you wish to add additional heaters. Tap Next to complete heater configuration. If you would like to configure a remote, tap the Configure Remotes toggle to Yes and click Next. Select Create to set up a new remote or Modify to configure an existing or detected remote and tap Next. In this example, we will select Modify to configure a detected SPA command. Tap Next until you see the option to create a SPA command. Toggle the slider to Yes and tap Next to continue. Enable the remote by tapping the Enable Remote toggle to On and tap Next to continue. Tap Configure next to Button Assignments. Select a button and assign a circuit. In this example, we will tap Button 2 and tap the circuit box. Select the desired circuit from the list and tap Next to continue. Repeat for all needed buttons and tap the Back button. Tap Next to continue. If more remotes are installed, use Add Remote at the top, otherwise tap Next to complete remote configuration. To add an IntelliClore, tap the Configure IntelliClore slider to Yes and select Next. With the Create button selected, tap Next to continue. Tap Add IntelliClore at the top. Tap Settings. Tap Next and use the plus and minus buttons to adjust the chlorination output level, then tap Next to continue. Tap the Superchlorination button and use the plus and minus buttons to change the superchlorination timer or leave it on the 24-hour default timer and tap Next to continue. Tap Next again. Tap Next once more to complete IntelliClore configuration. If you would like to configure an IntelliChem, toggle the slider to Yes and tap Next. With the Create button selected, tap Next to continue. Tap Add IntelliChem at the top. If more than one body of water is present, tap the Body Assignment button and click Next. Tap Add IntelliChem if you would like to configure another IntelliChem, otherwise tap Next to complete the IntelliChem configuration. To set schedules, tap the Configure Schedule slider to Yes and click Next. With the Create button selected, tap Next to continue. Tap Add Schedule at the top. Here you can select a weekly or one-time only schedule, and in this example we will select weekly. Select a circuit from the list to add a schedule for and tap Next. Tap the Start Time box and use the up and down arrows to set the desired start time.
Then tap the check button to save and continue. Tap the stop time box and use the up and down arrows to set the desired stop time. Then tap the check button to save and continue. Tap next to continue. The heat mode box can be selected if the schedule is for pool or spa. Select the desired heat mode and then tap next. Tap next again. Repeat for any other schedules and tap next to complete scheduling. Ensure that all data is correct and tap next to continue. Tap finish and wait for the system to restart. The IntelliCenter is now ready to be used.